Hello everyone, my name is Connor Huffman, and we are here, finally, once again, doing another How to Build. Last time, however long it was ago, I asked you whether you wanted to see Le Mera or Axon next. Once again, you guys seem to be really good at voting the exact same number of times for both characters. So, this time we will be doing Le Mera, and the next time we will be doing Axon. Also, don't forget to tell me who you'd like to see a How to Build for next. After Axon's tutorial, I'll be tallying up all the votes, and that will be the next How to Build. So don't forget to do that. For now, let's get on to the How to Build, and we will start with the legs. Okay, starting with the legs, they are very simple, nothing really special here to talk about. Just build the foot like you normally would, by putting a, uh, a hand connector into the telemetry foot. Add that little connector on the inside to uh, fill it in. This Paracolum was painted gold to uh, match the rest of the mock. Go ahead and add this um, three long lift arm with the ball joint on it. That's not really necessary, but you can use that if you want. Add the Vorox armor piece onto the front, like that. Add a little washer over it, and that's the lower leg. And then the upper leg is just a simple Toa Metru design limb piece. Go ahead and snap it all together. And that's Lamera's legs. You'll need two. And as you can see that was very simple. Now we will move on to the arms. Alright, and now for the arms. These are the parts you'll need. We'll go ahead and start with the hand design. So very simply, it starts like you would build normally build a Gringat hand design with the uh, with this construction of Lego pre pieces and the hand connector going together like so. And the Exo Forced ar arms and all that. But then instead for a thumb, we'll be using a one and a half long cut lightsaber rod, and we'll put it on this side because it's the other hand that goes into that hole. And then just before it goes in all the way, we put a uh, robot claw on it. And then attached to that robot claw, you put a minifigure arm. So that makes the thumb, and that's uh, Lemera's hand. Uh, for the lower arm, it's a pretty simple construction. You simply just take one of these, uh, this build right here, put it into the uh, normal Metru arm, and then this construction, which is all Technic, like so. And it should go on like this, no, like this, like so. And then set that down, we'll get back to that later. For the upper arm, you're going to need to build this construction out of this limb piece and set it down because we'll be constructing several other things. So go ahead and take these two pieces and attach them together like so. This half a clicky joint piece has a uh, one long stud pin piece on it, and that just simply attaches to the inside right there, like that. And now you'll be working some rubber band magic. This is a, a little technique you can use to avoid having to deal with armor interfering with uh, inter uh, armor interfering with articulation. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, go ahead and attach this rubber band around the first washer on this bone piece. Then squeeze it through behind the piston on the Vorox armor. So it goes through like that. Then wrap it around the, uh, the Technic piece and then put it back under the other piston. Then last but not least wrap it around the washer of the other side of the bone piece. And that's how you connect that. Go ahead and add a half lift arm with another too long uh, axle. Stick that through the top and then finish it off with this painted gold Bulrock eye right there. And that's how you build that. Last but not least, let's show you how to connect everything. So go ahead and attach the hand to the bottom of the lower arm and then obviously the elbow and the elbow joint like so. And now for the uh, sleeve, or the robe part, however you want to call it. Um, first, this is uh, 
this is half of a TP uh, fabric slash plastic piece from one of the Lone Ranger uh, Lego sets. And I have a, a washer crammed into one of the holes. It's a little bit squeezed in there, but it actually does fit. Um, you want to go ahead and, and attach that washer to the uh, exposed axle on the lower arm, like so. And then go ahead and, and fill that the rest of the axle in with a lift arm. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I accidentally attached the elbow on backwards. So instead, we will be putting this... Um, we'll be swapping this bone piece around, like so. That's just the quick and easy way to do it, rather than rebuilding the whole thing. So like that. And then... That attaches there. And then, last but not least, the other hole for the fabric goes over that little bar piece. And this elbow design, or this uh, arm design, can actually bend 90 degrees, as you can see. It does put a lot of stress on the uh, plastic, but it works. And it turns back to normal. That's how you build the arms. Go ahead and build two. They'll need to be mirrored. And obviously you can use the other half of the TP uh, fabric plastic piece for that. And now that that's done, we'll move on to the first part of her torso. All right, for our first part of Lemera's torso, these are the parts you'll need. To start with, we'll assemble this first part like so. So take this three long lift arm with the two three long pins and the one and a half long pin. Stick it through this Technic connector with the frictionless three long pin. Then go ahead and take a five long Technic lift arm with this Technic pin axle uh, conversion piece through it. Stick it on like that and then simply attach that to an Anika uh, waist. And that's part. That's that part done. This next part will be will need to be mirrored. And I have the mirrored half right here. Go ahead and start with taking these two pieces, a four angled uh, mono neck connector and this Technic connector with three or two three long pins or axles through it and one two long axle up there. Then you'll need a five long axle with a washer on it. These go together like so. So take this piece and go like that and like that through the middle. Then that will simply be connected right there, and this will be shoved through just like that. And you'll need to flip that around for the final assembly. And then this is built the exact same way, just flipped around, and you'll need to attach them together like that in the end. But for now, leave them separate. And moving on. For this next part, this is all you'll need. First of all, let me explain this. This is just a Zesk Glatorian helmet with two of these flex tube pieces shoved through the bottom eye holes. So you'll need one of those set up and set that aside for later. The next small part you'll need is a three long axle with a stud on the end. Put one of these smooth translucent studs or a Lego stud piece or whatever you like to put on there. Stick it through the top of this uh, golden Nuva armor. Add a washer and a very useful piece just like that and that's that part done and for the last couple of parts you'll just need this simple Technic construction like this set that aside then a metro uh, metro chest plate armor a lift arm two blue pins and two washers just simply attach them as you would normally these are a little challenging there we go and that's the last small part you'll need Moving on. Alright, next is the first part of her waist cape. Uh, to start with, go ahead and take these pieces. This is a seven long axle. Go ahead and um, mirror this on both sides. Uh, in the center you'll have a two long washer, then pointing up you'll have a one of these Technic connectors, then another half washer, then a downwards pointing uh, round Technic connector, and then last but not least another washer piece. So assemble that. Then you'll need two of these uh, opposite facing Technic um, panels. And to assemble the pins you just take one of these pins with a mixel joint on the end, stick that on there, 
Then go ahead and take a three long axle with a stud on the end, put a washer on it and stick it through that hole in the uh, uh, Technic panel, and another washer on the other side, and then a Mata neck piece. Then mirror it on the other side and attach it to the other uh, mirrored Technic panel. Then last but not least, stick this whole construction into the middle hole of the two Technic panels on the inside, just like so. They should snap nicely in place. You should get this construction. And next we'll move on to the other half of her waist cape. For this next section, these are the parts you'll need. I'll go ahead and explain a few. This is the uh, gold shield piece from the Aruni uh, Hordika set, or during the Hordika era, that is. So that's a relatively old piece. That's a Rituka spinner from the same era. Go ahead and slap that into the available hole. That's just for filler, mostly. And these are little uh, minifigure capes for the Magna Guard Star Wars minifigures. So you'll need two of those. As for the actual construction of the other half of the waist cape, this is what you'll do. Go ahead and assemble one of these structures like so. So go ahead and take one of these Technic lift arm pieces, attach it into one of these special lift arm pieces, then take a three long lift arm piece, put those assigned pins into it and attach it on the other side, just like so. Then take one of these new, uh, more compact Technic pin, uh, I don't know, angle pieces and stick that in the top with the blue pin on it. Next you'll go ahead and attach them to the shield like so by taking two three long axles with the studs on the end, sticking them through the two holes on the side of the uh, shield piece. Then go ahead and attach them through on the other side like so, just like that, until that's what you get. Then back on the other side, on this middle half stud, half uh, pin piece, go ahead and put this little disc plate on like so. And then last but not least, take the two Magna Guard capes and to cover up this ugly Technic construction, we'll slot them over the blue pins like so. And leave them hanging like that for now. And that's how you build the other half. And now I will show you how to put the rest of Lemera together. So go ahead and gather up all your parts, and this is how you'll assemble everything together. First let's move some stuff out of the way. These pieces right here were added in, so don't forget to add these in as well. Go ahead and start with this piece. Take these two Technic constructions and lining them up with the holes, we'll push this pin through all the way on this construction and then slide that through this hole on the Technic connector, like so. Then match it on the other side. Leave this pin out for now. This is on backwards, so take this pin out and stick it through the other side. The, uh, this, the hub on the end should be facing forward, not backwards. Then go ahead and attach this uh, Metru chest plate onto the exposed pin, like so. And then you'll see the uh, the Metru, uh, or the Hordika neck piece is getting in the way a little bit, so as you're pushing down on this, just pull out on these a little, and it should, they should bend out of the way just a little bit. It is a little bit of stress on the joints, but this is mocking. <laughs> so, alright, next go ahead and take this Nuva chest plate piece, and this exposed axle needs to go into the hub here, so go ahead and do that, like so. Then take this three long axle with a stud on the end, and an actual stud on the end. Stick that through the back of the Metru tor uh, torso armor, like so. Then go ahead and attach this hand connector onto the exposed axle in the front. Next, go ahead and, atta and attach this piece to the very front of the torso, like so. So that it lines up with that hole just nicely, and then slap that uh, axle all the way through. Next, you wanna assemble the uh, waist cape completely, so on these two Technic connectors, stick them onto the blue pins from the other half, like so. And as you can see, that will hold the, uh, the cape pieces down. Then go ahead and attach this Mata neck piece to the exposed pin back here, like so. 
And then on this exposed half pin, go ahead and put that Anika armor piece in, like so. And then on the front of the armor, go ahead and take the uh, Zesk helmet, and in this Technic connector, go ahead and put the, uh, the axle from the mask in. And then last but not least, slide the tubes into the openings on the Nuva armor, and then make sure they go into the blue pins in the Metru Tor chestplate armor piece, like so. Just like that. And then last but not least, for the other half of er, the other T TP piece, <laughs> go ahead and attach that to the mixel joints on the back, like so. And then on the front, go ahead and wrap them around and attach them onto the mixel joint pieces on the waist cape, like that. And that is how you build Lemera's torso and I guess her waist cape as well. For the head, it's just a simple Metru, torso, or Metru head design, and then this mask was kindly donated to me by uh, Dragon Axe Films himself, so thank you for that. And that obviously just attaches to the hand connector on the top. Okay, and now for the final assembly. Alright, now just take the torso you've built and attach the legs that you've also built on like so. Then go ahead and attach the arms to the elbow joint, or the shoulder joints. Sorry, I forgot my anatomy. And that's how you build Le Mera. Well guys, that's it. That is how you build Le Mera. Feel free to like, comment, share the video, do whatever you need to do. If you'd like to use any of the designs you saw in this video, feel free to do so, with or without credit, it's no big deal. If you'd like to recreate this character or build this design yourself, go ahead and share it online anywhere and post a link to it in the comments below and I'll feature you in the new Awesome People section. Unfortunately, due to YouTube's new end card system, I can no longer put annotations on videos. The Awesome People section from now on will be listed in the comments below with actual links to your creations, so be on the lookout to see those in the future. Next up on how to build will be how to build Axon, the Pensive Paladin. You guys voted exactly the same number of times last time for both Lemera and Axon, so I had no choice but to do both. But for the how to build after Axon, feel free to request any of my mocks that I haven't done how to builds for in the comments below. And after how to build Axon goes up, I will tally up the results, and that will be the how to build that comes out next. So be sure to cast your vote in the comments below. Well guys, once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next how to build.